Brokata Yahawa Brokata Yahawasha Brokata Yahawa Brokata Yahawasha Bahashan Rakakodash the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. A lesson will be entitled An Evil Mind Towards His Brother. Sir Anthony Weldon verse King James the First. As you can see, this is a picture of Sir Anthony Weldon, a bald-headed Jake, who was dismissed from the court of King James, okay? And he was a Jake, which further proves what? That King James was a Jake. And my source, Afrocentric Queen. All right, pictures of King James. And again, he was a Jake. This video was inspired by a video elder, Apostle Gabar, composed on his. YouTube platform daily edification for his video is entitled older man bitter in his spirit said King James was a sexual deviant printed by the Jehovah's Watchtower Society okay let me show you if I'm able to show you It is right here. You know, I'm chilling at my crib, so it is what it is. See here? Publishers Watchtower Bible and Track Society. All right, which is part of the Jehovah Witness. So before we go into the King James Bible, which this is what it is, it's there's a prologue of uh a prologue about King James okay as you see here to the most high and mighty Prince James by the grace of God which his name is Yahweh King of Great Britain France and Ireland and King James was a Jake you know you have you have Renaissance pictures of King James have him looking like a so-called white man no King James looked like the like a light-skinned Jake that's what he looked like and we just saw those pictures of King James being a Jake. As a matter of fact, I believe his true picture, the true image of what he looked like, is in that book, um, Nature Knows No Color Line. Okay, by, uh, by J.A. Rogers. Okay. And if my memory serves me correctly, this is the same picture Apostle Gabar is referencing from that book. Okay. So King James, he was a Jake, man. And look at look at it says, James, by the grace of, of God, which he King James undertook the the work of translating the Bible. You had a, a few back then that you had uh, William Tinsdale. You had a few that did it, but out of all of them, King James is the most popular. His version is the most popular, a.k.a. the King James Version. Okay, and he took on that task of translating the Bible from the Hebrew, Greek, and even Latin into the King's English, which produced what we call the King James Bible today. And look what it says here. James, by the grace of the Heavenly Father, King of Great Britain, France, and Ireland, defender of the faith. So if he's a defender of the faith, what's the faith? This knowledge is truth, right? The commandments of statutes of the Heavenly Father, right? If he's a defender of the faith, how the hell is he going to be a pedophile? Or how the hell is he going to be a homosexual? They have slandered King James. King James has been slandered. Okay. And that's a beautiful point, all right? And who slandered King James? Where did this slander come from? courtesy of Sir 
Anthony Weldon, okay, who was a Jake, okay, he initiated this slander that King James was a homosexual, a pedophile, a sexual deviant. Why? Because he was dismissed from King James Court, okay? According to Wikipedia, relations with King James, the story of Weldon's dismissal from King James Court for his negative assessment of the Scots in a description of Scotland is usually taken as the justification for the criticism of James in the court and character of King James I, which contains the famous comment that James was the wisest fool in Christendom. However, it is unclear whether Weldon was the author of either of these works. A description of Scotland was first published six years before Weldon's dismissal from the court and was not credited to him until the second half of the 17th century. Likewise, the court and character of King James I was not credited to Weldon until after his death in 1648. According to Chick.com, was King James a homosexual? Question, I have been told that King James was a homosexual. Is this true? Answer, no explanation. King James I of England, who authorized the translation of the now famous King James Bible, was considered by many to be one of the greatest if not the greatest monarchs that England has ever seen. Through his wisdom and determination, he united the warring tribes of Scotland, who were Jakes, into a unified nation and then joined England and Scotland to form the foundation for what is now known as the British Empire, courtesy of King James, via the spirit. At a time when only the churches of England possessed the Bible in English, King James' desire was that the common people should have the Bible in their native tongue. The common people, Israelites, right? Now remember, this took place during what time frame? The Dark Ages, when Jake ruled. Thus, in 1603, King James called 54 of his history's most learned men together to accomplish this great work. At a time when the leaders of the world wished to keep their subjects in spiritual ignorance, King James offered his subjects the greatest gift that he could give them their own copy of the word of the Most High in English. James, who was fluent in Latin, Greek, and French, and schooled in Italian and Spanish, even wrote a tract entitled Counter Blast to Tobacco, which was written to help thwart or prevent the use of tobacco in England. Such a man was sure to have enemies. One such man, Anthony Weldon, had to be excluded from the court. Remember the first source. Weldon swore vengeance. It was not until 1650, 25 years after the death of 
of James that Weldon saw his chance. He wrote a paper calling James a homosexual. Obviously, James being dead was in no condition to defend himself. The report was largely, largely ignored since there were still enough people alive who knew it wasn't true. In fact, it lay dormant for years until recently when it was picked up by Christians who hoped that vilifying King James would tarnish the Bible that bears his name so that Christians would turn away from the Most High's book to a more modern translation. So, we see that these Christians use a manuscript from Anthony Weldon to destroy the character of King James to prevent people from reading the scriptures. Okay? It seems, though, that Weldon's false account is being once again largely ignored by the majority of Christianity, with the exception of those with an interior motive, such as its author had. It might also be mentioned here that the Roman Catholic Church was so desperate to keep the true Bible out of the hands of the English people that it attempt, attempted to kill King James and all of his parliament in 1605. And Lord will, okay, I will do a part two going into the assassination attempt of King James. Okay, so again, King James being classified or identified as a sexual deviant, a homosexual, or a pedophile was initiated by who? Courtesy of Sir Anthony Weldon. Okay, which brings me to my precept. Deuteronomy 28 and 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye or mind shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. And for our video, okay, or for this video, our case example of a man or a brother having an evil mindset towards another brother is Sir Anthony Weldon and how he attempted to discredit King James. Lord will you edify Shalom.